What's going on guys? Ted, I don't know what's going on with my hair. Uh, I'm coming off of the 24 hour D&D live stream. Uh, but I did want to try to get a couple of other videos filmed before I fall asleep and pass out even further. Um, so, it's time for your Kickstarter Spotlight. What do I have for this week? This one's going to be a fairly quick one, but I feel like it, it needs really no introduction. Um, these are miniature holders and grips by Steven Rath. I'm not sure if there's a name for Rathcore. Um, I can show you the videos right here. Oh, I forgot I put myself in the top right corner of the video. Weird. Uh, guess we're gonna try switching it up, see how it goes. Um, so what you're looking at right here are these, these grips here by Rathcore. They're for painting miniatures. Um, if you're like me, you buy miniatures, and I've been printing them, my 3D printers right here off the screen. Uh, so with that, I encounter a lot of issues with painting. As you can kind of see, I'm not going to bother playing the video, but you can basically see what's going on. Um, without having to hold the base of the mini and like turn it and try to like hold on to maybe like a sword or a spear or something to try to paint it, which you're holding what you're painting and it can move, these are things that hold the miniatures, and we'll go over the sizing, and the price is actually right on these. I'm, I currently back them. I'm excited. Uh, to make things easier and even give you somewhat of a steady hand for painting. So you can see there are two different kinds. There are these grips, which look like they're like an actual handle that you hold, and there are the holders, which are these things here that are like a, like a little cork piece. The grips, you know, might be better. I, I'm assuming there's less of a carpal tunnel issue because you're actually holding something rather than holding a little thing. Or some, you know, kind of go on one of these. But you can see the bar system actually works on both. And you can get these in different sizes to hold different size miniatures, like your standard 25 millimeters to like big things if we're working on sculptures. And you can get these cork adapters to take minis. Let's say you have uh, a metal mini or something that it can just slot in, or you have a pre made mini. See, like these ones that are on, like, on uh, kind of little metal things, you're gonna put your own bases on them. They just sit into the split piece of cork here. Or you can get adapters if we scroll down a little bit. Um, maybe. So see to hold different size minis that are already affixed to a base. Uh, and then here you can see the grips. You can get different colors. Uh, to me it doesn't really matter. I'm only using it to paint. Uh, and then, you know, they just kind of slot right in. That's what these videos are showing. You can see the bars. And the best example is this one here. So here, you're holding this mini and you're painting, but you're kind of freehand with the bar. You're kind of holding it like this and you have the bar as a guide. So your brush, you can get nice even brush strokes and you're not, you know, shaky hands. It's nice and straight and even. Um, There's all different varieties. Uh, they've blown past their goal of 5,000. They are at 190,000 basically right now. Um, but you can get uh, a lot of the early reward stuff, unfortunately, have gone, um, as to be expected. For currently, there are 43 left on this 16 uh, euro uh, bid. It's one miniature holder, the base, the bar, and a standard cork, and you can choose the size 32 mil, uh, 54, or 75. Just be wary, this is only for minis that don't have pre existing bases. So, as you scroll down, you can see what I picked which was this one for 18 euros. Um, it's a bar, cork, and a standard base, and I can choose the cork adapter. So I'm gonna choose the 25 millimeter adapter because that's most of the minis that I do. And this ships anywhere in the world, and the estimated delivery is October of next year. It's a little while to wait, but it is what it is. I mean, these, this is a great product. If you paint minis or sculpt, I mean, even if you're just sculpting like clay uh, to give yourself more of a steady hand, I think this is kind of a no-brainer. And the price is right on these. I really don't think they're expensive. They're not asking for much. Granted, you probably could fashion one of these yourself out of a thick piece of wire and a, some cork from, you know, a wine bottle or a cork board. And maybe that's your way to go about doing these things. And now that I'm saying it, it actually sounds like a pretty good idea. But these are already pre-made, and I love supporting things on Kickstarter. So that's what I'm going to go for. Um, I don't really think I need to explain anything more on this, guys. What do you guys think about this? Are you going to pick these up? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think that price is right? I mean, less than $20 for something that could potentially make your life that much easier uh, for a convenience thing. And again, if you like aesthetics, you can go for the dark wood or the light wood. Um, it's really up to you. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think about these in the comments below. 
hope you have a great rest of your week. Um, if you missed the 24-hour D&D stream, it's currently up under past broadcasts on our Twitch channel. I will be slowly parsing out the videos in three hour uh, in the three-hour blocks for each uh, game and then putting those up on YouTube shortly. So, okay, guys, I'll see you next time.